Hello everyone and welcome to Alisha's Guide to CSS. I am Alisha, your instructor for the course. In today's session, we are going to see CSS borders. So today's session will help you add beautiful borders around your text. Various ways how you can do that and let's see how it works. So let's get started. Hello everyone, I am Alisha Meni and welcome to Learn by Watch. So today's session is all about CSS borders, border styles, border width, border colors, and rounded borders. And then we'll also see the different types of border styles as well, which comes under the first topic itself. So let's get started. So let's come down and see what are the different border styles that we can have. We can have dotted, dashed, solid, double, groove, bridge, inset, outset, none, and hidden. Let's see how do they work. So for that, I'm going to create an HTML file and I will save it as borders.html. So let's have the basic HTML template here. The title is border and we have a body here where I am going to have several P tags. Hello. I am dotted. So let's see how this file looks right now. Let's go back here and open .html file in Google Chrome or any browser that you have. So you can see it looks like this. Hello, I am dotted simple. Then let's go back and here what we can do is we are going to do some inline styling. So style equal to so now we have to style the border. So border style and let's say this is do dotted because I've said well, already just put it here that hello I am dotted and let's see how it looks now. So when you refresh there is a dotted border around this paragraph. Similarly we can also have solid and just copy this here and change solid here save it and let's refresh and we have a solid one as well similarly all of these are the keywords that you have to use suppose you want double then let's see how double looks So you can add double here, go back, refresh, you can see you have double borders around it. Similarly, you can go ahead and try for groove, bridge, inset, outset. I'm going to show you hidden and none as well. So let's see. I'm just going to add none. Even if you don't add any border style to your p-tag, it's going to be none. So it's the same thing. So we have with nothing there. And then we have one with hidden. The hidden one actually has your border, but it's actually hidden. So you cannot see it, but it's there. That's why the p-tag with none and the p-tag like with the hidden both looks the same. Okay, so now let's move on to the next topic that we have here, which is border width. How can we do that? Now let, let me show you here. You just have to add border width, right? And border width, let's say I want it to be 2 pixel. Let's make it 5 pixels so that it's a bit visible. So we made it 5 pixels. And just see the difference when I refresh. It's very big now and you can see it very clearly. Right. And then you can also have border width as medium or thick. So if we do this and refresh, you can see there was this minute change here in this part. Minute change. So similarly, you can add other border widths to the other p-tags as well. 
and then there are border colors and there are rounded borders as well so let's see how to do that so for border color we can again use all of that rgb rgba and hex codes that we have done in the lab previous class so let me write some hex code by myself and save it and let's see how our bo dotted border looks like what color did it get it got a green color similarly like i told you in the last class if you want css color picker you can just type css color picker in google and you will get this color picker here and then you can choose any color that you want and hex code rgb code all of that will be available here then a uh, border color then is rounded borders let's see how that works so that is what i'll show you in dotted and then i'll show you in double this one is solid okay so let's take border radius and when i give the radius as 5 pixel and save it and this one is i am solid this one is i am double this one is i am none and this one is hidden so let's keep it like this right great now i've saved the file and let's go back and refresh so you can see now we have rounded borders similarly you can do the same to the double and i'm just gonna copy the radius part where is it yes i'm just gonna copy this part put it here as well and one more thing we can do we can just reduce the size say three pixels and refresh so you can see again that we have got rounded border here as well so this is it this is all about today's session in next session we will be continuing with css and we will see more different types of things like box model and other things as well thank you for watching i believe now you'll be able to work with css borders with no problem at all but if you still have any doubts please comment it down below and i will surely help you now if you like this video give it a like and share it with your friends so that they can also take advantage of this course. Also, if you are looking for a course with CSS certification, then I am adding a link below in the description box. Do check that link out. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.